Yes, hello and welcome back to another Ink Expedition video. Today I'm taking a look at two Robert Oster inks. These are actually my first Robert Oster inks, but I'm sure they won't be my last, judging by the catalogue that the inks came with. They have so many unique looking colours. First I will look at the Café Crema, which is a light brown ink reminiscent of a coffee stain. This ink does appear to be popular online, but I've never been a huge brown ink fan, so this was a bit of a gamble to buy a bottle of. I have filled my Lamy All Star with a fine nib with this ink, and I'm writing here on Tomori Ripper paper as always. My first impressions were good. It's a fairly light brown ink with shading even from this fine nib. Having seen other reviews of this ink though, I believe it does benefit from a broader nib to get more of that shading. I've written another sample here on Rhodia, just to show how it can be a bit darker on different paper. The ink swab shows more of that shading, and we see no sheen from this ink. While I'm not blown away by this ink, it does at least offer something different to the rest of my collection. I'll also swap out the fine nib to a broad on my All Star to see how it goes. The second Robert Oster ink is Burned Orange, another light colour but not a bright orange by any means. This also offers a great amount of shading, and once again, I think it benefits from a broader or even just a wetter nib. This Caveco Supra is in fine and I find it fairly dry. It also hard starts from time to time, so that doesn't help. I found it was darker on other paper also which I can't tell if this is just coincidence with these two inks, or if it is more common with Robert Oster inks. I really like this ink though. It's a nice change from the usual bright orange inks I often see. It offers great shading also. I've watched a few reviews of these inks, and it appears inconsistencies between choices of pen and paper are quite common. So this is something to keep in mind if you're looking at purchasing either of these inks. I have also filled my Mont Blanc 320p with this ink, and on Rhodia paper it does look much darker, which I prefer. It goes to show how different inks can look on various papers and in different pens. The swab shows a big difference between the lightest and darkest tones that this ink can provide, and like the crema, there is no sheen here either. I'd be keen to hear your experience with either of these inks to see if it matches mine. If you have any queries, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and goodbye.